Good morning this Thursday the 8th of September. I'm Grady Wolf, a market analyst with Bell Direct. US markets snapped a two-session losing streak to close higher across the three key indices on Wednesday, led by the Nasdaq rallying more than 2%, as oil prices and rate concerns eased, which cooled investor fears over continued high inflation. Stocks rallied after Federal Reserve Vice Chair Lael Brainard reaffirmed the Fed will do what it takes to control the country's high inflation, while also noting the risks of going too far. U.S. trade balance data for July came in overnight, with imports continuing to outweigh exports as a trade balance in the world's largest economy regained some ground to a deficit of $70.7 billion U.S. dollars from $80.9 billion U.S. dollars in the month prior. Over in Europe, Russian President Vladimir Putin caused a sell-off in stocks after threatening to cut back grain exports from Ukraine and said Moscow could extend its rations of natural gas exports and cut off oil flow if the West goes ahead with a planned price cap on Russian crude. Putin's comments on grain sent global wheat prices up 4%. Stocks were also sold off as investor concerns over a recessionary outlook continue to grow. The FTSE 100 fell 1%, the DAX added just 0.3% and the CAC closed the day just 0.02% higher. Looking at commodities, crude oil is trading 6% lower overnight, natural gas is down 3.5%, gold is 1.3% lower and iron ore is trading down 1.5%. On local shores, the ASX futures are ex expecting or anticipating the market to open just under half a percent higher today to recover some of yesterday's sharp sell-off. In terms of economic data today, investors will be keeping a close eye on RBA Governor Philip Lowe's speech to gain an insight into just how aggressively the RBA will continue to raise interest rates into the future. Australia's trade balance data is also out today, with the market expecting a trade surplus of $14.5 billion, down from June surplus above $17.6 billion. Investors will be hoping the data boosts mining stocks today following a sharp sell-off in mining stocks yesterday after China's trade balance showed demand fell nationally and internationally for iron ore, copper and gold. And now let's dive into some trading ideas for your consideration today. Trading Central has identified a bullish signal on software company Nuix amid a pattern forming over a 17-day period. The bullish signal indicates that over the same period of time, the stock price could climb from the close of $0.69 cents per share to between $0.81 cents and $0.85 cents per share, according to standard principles of technical analysis. And Bell Potter has initiated coverage of medicinal cannabis company at Kronos Australia with a buy rating at a price target of $0.60 cents per share with the expectation that momentum observed for Kronos in FY22 will continue into FY23 and translate into strong revenue and earnings growth. And that's all for this morning. I'm Grady Wolf with Bell Direct. Have a great day and happy investing.